um, another another big scoring day for you. Just um, what what went right today? Um, I think moving off of like using our offensive, um, going off the screens and offense was really well and running the plays and then everyone was just getting open. And I think that's what really helped today. Okay. Uh, you know, you, you really not only just scored the ball, but you got your teammates involved and that seemed like they really got you guys going early. Um, how big of an emphasis is it for you just to make sure you get your teammates involved as much as, you know, creating for yourself? Um, I think I probably put more emphasis on getting my teammates open and getting them their open shots. Um, they work hard to get the ball there in the right positions and uh, they're great shooters. So when they knock it down, um, that's just why I got some assists, but shout out to them for making the shots. <laughs> Kate, what was the mindset of the team coming out, you know, after the loss on Friday? Um, that was definitely a hard one on Friday. I think we all didn't forget it. So coming in today, we kind of had a chip on our shoulder and came in with the mindset that this is kind of a re revenge game and um, we're not going 0-2 against them. And we came out and played hard and we ended up with the win. Claire, there was a tough shooting game on Friday too. How much of a relief was it for you to see, you know, not only your shots, but the other players too, some of those shots start to fall. Is that a big relief for the, uh, for the team offensively? It definitely is. And it's definitely like exciting when, um, we take like the good shots and they go in like, cause in our last game, we were taking some good shots still, but they just weren't falling. So I think it was very exciting and it helped um, like motivate us more when we saw the shots falling. Thank you. Um, this, either one of you, either one of you can answer this. Um, how, how do you, you know, after the way the, the first result went on Friday, how do you flip the switch and, you know, blow them out? you know, on Sunday, the way you did, like, what was the big emphasis there? And just um, how were you able to just, you know, make that happen today? Um, I can answer that. I think we really um, focused on our practice on Saturday. We knew what we had to do. We made the changes that had to be made. And, um, you know, one of the reasons we lost because we didn't really shoot the ball that great. And everyone was putting up extra shots and getting in the gym. And I think that just showed today before I had to practice. <laughs> it doesn't believe me on no, that no, one. No, no, no. <laughs> I thought you were going to mention the visualization. I was just kidding. And an, <laughs> oh, yes. And we visualized the ball going in last night, each of us, for 30 minutes. We visualized and watched film. So I think that was a big help, too. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Any final questions for the student athletes? I think we're good. All, All right. right. For both players, it was a, um, a city game, you know, back to back city games. You know, being you're not from here, have you learned a lot more about Philadelphia basketball and how much it really means? Oh, absolutely. Listen, the rivalry here in Philadelphia is real. And I mean, to get to get a win and not go, like I said, 0-2, that, that means a lot for us and for our program. So I'm just glad we came out on top. All right. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. All right. Head Coach McGilvery, he will give an opening statement and then we'll take questions. Well, I guess if you got to get blown out one game and blow the other team out the other game, it's better to do the blowing out on national TV than on the internet. Um, you know, huge turnaround. I, I we were really, I, I can't underscore it. We were really shook after that, that game. Um, it's probably the lowest I've seen a team um, practice on Saturday was not great either. I mean, they were trying, but they just couldn't put, put two and two together and, um, but they really want to be good and they really want to get better. And I'm just so happy for them that they were able to bounce back. Like we went 11 for 27 from the free throw game line on Friday after shooting 80% all season, um, practice included. And for them to shake that off, go out there tonight and go 16 for 18. I mean, that's just so huge for such a young team to get off the mat. I mean, that's what we talked about at the beginning of practice yesterday and at the end. Like, can we get off the mat? And we did. So really proud of them. And now we got a, a tough stretch ahead of us. We got Drexel on Wednesday, St. Bonaventure on Friday, and Duquesne on Sunday. So we're right back at it. Um, but really pleased with what they did today. Now, how much, how much pleasing was it for you to see? I know, obviously, Claire uh, had a lot of, a lot of points scoring, but a lot of the other players chipped in as well. And you had a pretty pretty good amount of distribution of scoring. How important was that? 
Yeah, it's huge. I mean, it's what we're, you know, I mean, if you watch us play, it's not like we're running things for Claire over and over again. The ball finds the open player. Um, she has an ability to get her shot off and score it, which, you know, it's really, thankfully, she's on our team. Um, but we need the open players to knock down the open shots. And, you know, we did it at uh, 46% today. So we're probably going to win some games when we do that. Coach, um, how, how do you explain, you know, like you said, you get blown out one day and you come back and completely dominate and control this game uh, for four quarters. How, how do you explain, you know, that shift? Well, um, I, I, you know, I think uh, it was a perfect storm on Friday. Uh, you know, I would say it was a perfect storm of something other than water, but um, it was a perfect storm and, and anything that happened, you know, just went the wrong way and they were able to put it behind them. And, you know, I, I was, I don't know how much they did it, but I really did talk to them. Like they had to just see the ball going in. I had our staff send them highlights. Like this is a good shooting team. Um, this is a, a good, a, a good passing team. Like we know our weaknesses. We're not going to be great on the boards. We're lacking a little size, but we should be able to make open shots and boy, we couldn't make them on Friday. And so I have expected this to happen today, but I was worried because when your confidence is shaken, sometimes kids don't bounce back, but they did. Coach, how did you like the format of the you know, Friday game and then the Sunday game, you know, a, a kind of a weekend series with the local team? So how, how did you like that? Well, it wasn't intentional. So we were supposed to play in December. So um, I, uh, I don't really care in, in this COVID season, in all honesty, I just want to get basketball games in. So any day we're playing, I'm grateful. I'm happy about it. Whether it was Friday, Sunday, or Saturday, Sunday, or two games in the same day. And as long as we get a chance to play, I'm all right with it. Double header, huh? Yep. Thank you, man. No, no you're welcome. Coach, um, I mean, Jaycock goes three of 10, Henderson two of 10. You know, those, those are obviously two of their, their better scorers. Uh, what was the emphasis on? on, um, you know, control, controlling their, their guards? Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, Katie Jake, it's a real good scorer. So she was a focal point of everything we were doing. And I think when we moved from the man to the zone, I was a little bit worried. I think she did get one three off in there, but it was still easy to identify her where she was. And our kids really stuck to the scout report and did the right things, um, you know, but, on the other side, like you, they talked about our balance and our contributions. So Jaden Walker goes six for nine. I don't think she's had that kind of output all season. She played great. And that's what you have to do. Gabby Smalls was really effective today, you know, a double-double. So, you know, kudos to St. Joe's for finding other options when we did a good job of taking away option one and option two. Um, it's, it, it's on the scouting report. Whether or not we're going to get it accomplished is a whole other Another story tonight we did, so I'm happy about that. Sounds good, Coach.